present. Okay, let's come into our mountain pose for our warm ups and see where we go from there. Shoulders back and down, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Get that core activated. Ribs towards your spine and up and lengthen through your spine. Spread your toes out. Relax your shoulders. Take a moment to breathe and exhale tension. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale out to the front, keep those shoulders down. Clasp your hands behind you and press the fingers to the floor. Lift your heart into a little back bend. And then exhale over, pivoting at your hips. Deepen into that as far as you'd like with your head toward your legs, hands toward the ceiling, toward your head. And spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, move your chin around, get your neck a little bit released. And then with your knees bent slightly, work your way all the way from the bottom of the spine up into another back bend. Chest high, spread your toes, stretch your head back, keep those shoulders down. Feel the heart open, stretch through the spine. Inhale, upright. Exhale, releasing into mountain pose. Take a moment just feeling that circulation. Start warming you up a little bit. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands behind you the opposite way. So shift the fingers in one position. Up. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes, feel that back bend, and then pivoting at your hips, come on over again. Just deepen as far as you'd like, feeling the back of your body get a little bit more stretch. And again, starting at the bottom of the spine, wind all the way up into your back bend. Chest high, shoulders down. Feel that whole spine lengthen, even in the back bend. And then inhale upright, releasing your arms. Take a moment again, just noticing how your body responds. Keep one arm down, bring the other arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Push the hands away, don't twist, but just lean straight to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down and feel those ribs stretch a little bit more as you reach out through your head and fingers. And then slide back up and release. Feel the difference on the two sides, so the other side needs to happen. Arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulders, spread your toes, lean to the side without a twist, and get that side opening up. Push the foot you're leaning away from now. Feel those ribs stretch. Keep breathing, relaxing as you exhale. And again, inhale back up. Keep those shoulders down as you come back into mountain pose. Feel your spine, getting it ready to stretch apart for our twist. And bring your arms to shoulder level, palms to the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Just clasp your elbows this time. Bring your arms by your ears, sitting bones toward the floor. Stretch the crown high and then turn to the other twist either direction. Take a breath, exhale over. Keep your arms by your ears. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Lift the sitting bones, relax your body down as far as it wants to go. Feel the twist, just let it relax and happen. Stay in the twist as you work your way up. Keep your arms by your ears, the weight on both feet as evenly as you can, and lift your heart. So you're in the twist, so remember, don't overdo your low back when you're twisting in the back bend. Take a moment to stretch out through your elbows and your head, down with the shoulders. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. Spread your toes, lift the crown, and turn to the opposite side. Breath in, and exhale in. And again, in the twist, keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can, coming into your forward position. 
Lift the sitting bones, get a stretch on the back of your body. Just keep relaxing. Keep your arms by your ears as you work your way up. And again, use the upper body only in your back. Moment to breathe. Just stretch out through your head and elbows. Inhale upright, come around to the center. Keep the shoulders down, stretch your hands up and extend your mountain. Feel those shoulder blades toward your waist, sitting bones toward the floor, ribs toward your spine and up. And notice how your body is working there. And then keep your arms by your ears and just pivot at your hips, bring your body perpendicular and stretch it out. And then drop into ragdoll, just hanging, letting that low back get a good stretch. Take a moment and breathe. Slide your hands up on your shins, under your knees, elbows, knees, and spine, straightening in that halfway up stretch. Take a good long lengthening through your spine. And then turn toward one side. And back to the center, and then pivot to the other side, and back to the center. And drop into ragdoll, pull in a little deeper for that back of your body stretch. And then release your arms to the front, bend your knees, and work your way back to standing. And then focus on your ribs as you're in mountain pose, and we're gonna just move the ribs around. So get them going in a little rotation, forward to the side, and then back and to the side, all the way around. And then stop and go the other way with the ribs. We'll work a little bit on the core today. So go ahead, get all those rib motions going, keeping those shoulders as even at the top as you can. And then come back into neutral mountain pose for a little balance practice before we go to the feet. So lift your toes, get the ball on the foot area, really connecting. Spread your toes out, don't work them as you put them down. So want to make sure you keep that contact on the base of the toe, ball of the foot area. Keep the arch lifting, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. You matter, make sure you're not turning anything out, everything's straight ahead. Sink into your favorite balance foot, and when you're balanced there, bring the other foot up. You can stay just low or bring it further up. Remember, don't cross it over, keep it straight up and down. And then when you're balanced, work your ankle, making sure we don't get stiff on lady the ankles. So circling around both ways. And when you're done, flex the point and straighten it out before you put it back down. Take what worked on that side, shift it over, keep that core active, shoulders relaxing back and down, everything aligned in your other side. <laughs> Spread the toes out, no gripping. And when you're stable on that side, bring your other foot up. And again, as high as it wants to go, you can pull it all the way to your heart or you can keep it near the floor, whichever works for you. And of course, work your ankle. Take a few breaths as you're doing it. And straighten it out and release. Back in mountain pose, sink evenly into both feet. Lengthen up through your whole body. Keep those sitting bones and shoulder blades going down and the shoulders relaxing. Hands to your heart. We'll look at them and bring them toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs as you pull back with your hands into a back bend as deeply as you like. And then exhale, hands to your heart, pivoting all the way over. Ragdoll for a moment, just hanging. And again, halfway up stretch with the hands right under your knees on your shins. Just elbows, knees, spine straight. Remember, don't crunch your neck. Keep it straight. And then spread your toes, bend your knees, and transition down to child's pose on the curve. Hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor, and stretch your spine. 
And exhale and reach your feet. And then bring your hands to the front. And out to the front of the mat. Spread your fingers out. Get the whole palms connecting. And then elbows, knees, and then elbows. Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lining up. And extend your legs behind you into a plank position. So get that core really active. Ribs toward your spine and then toward your heart. Keep the hips maybe a little bit bent up so that you're not sagging in that low back. Push out through your head, out through your heels, and keep that core working to support you in a straight line from your heels, knees, hips, and shoulders. And again, feel that core working. Keep breathing and stretching. Spread those fingers, make sure the whole palms are supporting you. Push back through the heels. Lift a little bit through that low back, don't let it sag down. Take a breath, stretch it out. And then either shift your shoulders over your fingers and lower your whole body in a nice straight line or bring your knees to the floor. And then do that. Bring your whole body down. And then turn your head to the side, hands, palms up at your side, rest and rock it out. Just take a moment there. Breathe and relax. On an exhalation, turn your head the opposite directions, making sure we work the neck in both directions evenly. Exhale, tension. And then bring your hands on top of each other and put your forehead on your hands. Stretch out the back of your neck. Keep your feet hip width apart. And take your core and raise it up towards your spine. So everything is just static there on the floor, and you're just working that midsection, kind of lifting it towards your spine. And I remember you there. Feel the navel, belly button area rise towards your spine. That's off there as much as you can. And then release that, just relax, and bring your hands to your side. Slide your chin forward. Turn your hands, palms down under your legs. Shoulders toward the floor, chin forward, so a little crunch in the back of the neck. If that's too much for you, you can bring your forehead back to the neck. Keep your feet up with the heart, stretch out through the toes, and keep stretching the right leg, especially for keeping the hip bones both down on the mat or into your arms as you lay. Raise the leg with the knees straight. So the right leg comes up, stretch through the toes, keep the toes spreading apart, keep the hip bones down, and raise that foot. So strengthening that low back area. And we're going to core a little bit. Stretch it out. Lift it a little higher, maybe, but keep the hip bones as down as you can. And then still stretching it out over that way. You can bring the forehead to the neck for a moment and give the neck a stretch. And then slide the chin back forward, if that's okay with your neck. Feet hip width apart, toes stretching out, shoulders down. Focus on your left leg this time. Push the hip bones down as you raise the leg up. Knees straight out through the toes. Lift them just as high as it wants to go. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that. Shoulders down. Chin forward if it works for you. Toes going up, maybe lift it a little higher, pushing that hip bone down as much as you can. At the moment, feeling what's going on in that lower back area. And stretching it out 
Exhale, lowering the foot back down. And again, forehead to the mat. Stretch the neck. Relax through the back, through the belly. And then bring your hands together underneath you. Either clasp the hands or just press them down. Press your hips into the arms. And feet hip width apart. Slide your chin back forward. And we're going to do, of course, both feet together. So stretching out through the toes, lift your feet off the floor. Keep stretching, shoulder blades toward your waist. Keep lifting through that navel up toward your spine, getting that core working for you as you raise those feet. Take a breath, maybe a little higher. Keep stretching it out. Anytime it gets too much, of course, you can go and lower the legs. But see if you can maybe bring them up a little higher, pressing those hips down into your arms. Take a few breaths. And still stretching out through the toes, bring the feet to the floor. Release your arms, tuck your forehead to the mat, bring your hands under your shoulders, and then push up and back into child's pose. Get your back nicely rounded, where we were doing those back bend movements through that lower back area. Take a breath. And jump. And then inhaling, sit up and bring your feet to the end of the mat. So pressing out through your heels into staff position, pulling those toes back, keeping that core, of course, activated to support your low spine. We're going to slowly round down, bringing your low back sacrum to the floor. And don't go any further, just kind of pause there as much as you can. Taking a moment to breathe, keep the spine relaxing as much as you can, and then lower to your lower ribs. And then finally bring your shoulder blades to the floor and your shoulders and your hip. Take a moment there, just relax, belly soft, and arms at your side. Just a little reclined integration, breathing and relaxing there. Settle in with your feet hip width apart. And again, it's Stretch out, push out through the heels, toes up toward the ceiling. And then we're going to activate the core again, so ribs toward your spine and then up toward your heart, pulling it down with the back slightly toward the floor. And then hands, palms up next to your legs, just lift your shoulders off the floor. So you can come onto your shoulder blades and see if you can see your toes. Push your fingertips toward your hand, or toward your fingertips toward your toes, toes toward your head, and keep that chest lifting toward the ceiling. So just coming up as far as you want. Keep stretching through the back of your neck. Remember, no crunching it or letting it fall back. Take a moment and bury. And then we're going to bring the right foot off the floor just an inch or two, pressing out through the heel. Push those hands toward your foot. Keep the chest lifting toward the ceiling. Feel what's going on in that midsection. Exhale, tension. Come on, lift it up, maybe just an inch or two. And then lower the foot and the upper body. Take a moment to breathe, exhaling tension. Keep those toes pointing up toward the ceiling. Relax through the belly. And then again, ribs toward the spine and up toward your heart. Activate that core. Lift through the heart, bring your upper body up. And again, you can tip, tip your chin and see if you can see the toes as you're pushing them toward the ceiling. Pushing out through the heels, fingertips toward your feet. And again, pushing out through the heel of the left foot, lift those toes 
and then just a little up, step them up, just a few inches. Push out through the heel. Feel that core working to support things. Stretch it out. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Round reaching away. Breathing, stretching, and working the core. And again, when you're ready, bring the foot down and exhale, body to the floor. Take a moment, breathing, relaxing everything. And of course, you know what we're going to do next. Yeah. Both feet together. It'll be a little more challenging. Oh, maybe a lot more. So do what's right for your body. Hands, palms up at your side. Lift that part. And again, Push those toes toward the ceiling, push out through the heels, keep everything stretching, and keeping those toes, heels going out. We lift your feet just a little off the floor, keep that core active, supporting you, and notice what's going on in your body. Anytime you need to, bring your feet back to the floor if you're vibrating and that's enough for you. Otherwise, push those heels away just a little more. Hands toward your toes just a little bit more. Oh, don't overstrain your neck. And then bring your feet down and your upper body down. Exhale. Setting bounce toward your heels. Push your back gently down. Draw your heels toward your hips. And knees up toward your heart. Give yourself a good stretch on that back of your body. And then exhale, keep to the floor. And then release out, coming into T position for our twist. Hands, palms up, outside your shoulders, shoulder level. Sitting down slightly toward your heels. And then if you can, keep your right leg straight and bring it to the ceiling. Otherwise, you can bend the knee and bring it up. And again, flex that foot. Toes toward your head, bottom of the foot as much toward the ceiling as you can. Keep that core working for you, supporting that leg. So the ribs toward your spine and up. Exhale, roll all the way to the left side. Head on the floor, don't overwork your neck. Bring your foot all the way to the floor and your hands together. Hold your right foot with your left hand and bring your right hand to the ceiling. Push out through the heel of that foot for more low back twist as you lower the hand behind you, right at shoulder level toward the floor. It may not make it to the floor, just go as far as it wants to. Letting that chest open as your middle back goes into your twist. Turn your head if that works for your neck area twist. And breathe, exhale, just deepen the exhalations. Letting everything release. Relaxing into your twist, never forcing them. Exhale, relax. And when you're ready to release, just let go of your leg or foot, roll onto your back, press the back gently down, lead with your heel, keeping that core active as you lower your leg to your hip. When it gets all the way down, just take a moment to release any tension in your belly, in your body. And of course, get ready to twist the opposite direction. Sitting on slightly toward your heels and back pressing down as you bring your left leg up, either straight or bend it first and bring it up as far as it wants to go. Press the heel away, toes toward your head. And of course, as much as possible, that foot toward the ceiling. Take a breath, and as you exhale, this time we're rolling to the right side. Hands together, foot down. Keep the head down, don't work your neck too hard. If you can reach your foot, hold it, otherwise hold your leg. And bring your left hand up toward the ceiling. Again, looking at it, as you lower the hand behind you into your twist, Keep the back of your hand going as far toward the floor as it wants, right at shoulder level. So it doesn't go up toward your head or down toward your foot, but straight back. So that chest here stays nice and open into that middle back twist. Keep your foot pushing away. 
getting that lower back maximizing if you love it, just in your lower back. And I'm turning your head for that neck area, just if that works for your body. Take a breath there, exhaling, letting those ligaments along the spine release into the twist, maybe a little deeper as you relax. And of course, the longer you hold the twist, the more things adjust. And if your hand hasn't made it to the floor, it'll go with gravity when your spine is ready to go. So just let your twist happen at its own pace. Breathe into it and relax. And for now, we need to release so we get a little relaxation time. So let go of your foot or your leg. Roll all the way onto your back. Press that core down, keeping that heel slowly moving toward the floor when you're ready. Whenever it gets all the way down, just totally relax, soften your belly, feet hip width apart, moving your hands near your hips, palms up, coming into your corpse position, relaxation. Exhale tension, just relax your whole body, letting it soften and sink into that surface beneath you. Deepen your breath. Exhale, let your body grow heavy. Sink deep into that earth down support beneath you. Breathing, relaxing, deepening into your release with each exhalation. Sinking deeper, just allowing Mother Earth to support your body, just letting it go. As your body completely relaxes, softening your belly, relaxing your legs, your hips, your shoulders and knees, just let everything release completely. As your body relaxes, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. As those thoughts release, other thoughts will come to you. Know that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. So go ahead, letting those thoughts disappear as easily as you can. Loading away without attention. And just let the thoughts flow in and out without awareness. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Let the thoughts go. Let your body go. Allow everything to release completely, focusing your awareness only on the peace within. And just fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And take a few moments feeling peace. Keep relaxing as long as you have time today. If so, it's time to get ready for the rest of your day. You can bring energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your breath. And as you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. And of course, when you're ready for your final yoga of the appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels. Back gently coming down. Heels toward your hips and knees up toward your feet. Wrap your arms around. 
give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you. Thank you, God. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor and roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.